Hello and welcome to Comp. It's a lovely uh, night, day, doesn't matter. I have water. See, I've got, there's some soda off to the side just in case, but people have been pestering me for years. Why do you drink so much water? I mean, some people like the soda when I chug a two liter of soda. I thought it was my trademark, but so many people in my YouTube comments seem to want me to live, <laughs> which I don't understand. Like I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to, you know, fade away, you know, better to burn out. Explode. I'm supposed to explode like that fat guy in that Monty Python movie. <laughs> just eating like, one more peppermint and then I just shoot myself in the gut <laughs> and all and a shotgun and all my, all that pizza and, and treats just come spitting all over some child. I go, that's what you get. I'm still alive. I'm screaming. Them, Don't do what I did. Shoot yourself in the face. <laughs> and uh, the parents like that wasn't the right message to give our kid. Like I'm, I shot myself. I'm dying. Oh, got wound. Hurts. Uh, but yeah, but I have water. Uh, and I, I have. Ch I'm changing my habits of consumption via liquids. You're selling um, out. Yeah, I'm selling out to the water uh, conglomerates, um, the water consortium. I have uh, like a very effete uh, regal man. Uh, I only drink water because I have a new bottle. It is a, uh, should we name them? You know who, who you are if you made this. You're a big company. Give us money. And I turn this around. And they see who it is. Mm. You get, that's how we work. But it's got a filter built in. <laughs> this fuck is anything going to get free advertising? Right here. It's a tease, huh? You like that? You like, you can imagine, imagine me telling everyone here about your, your company, how great it is. They don't want me. They don't want me. <laughs> this fat <laughs> maniac trying to kill himself every day, every episode. Please, just don't, don't turn around. <laughs> no one, we're not affiliated with I imagine them like paying to put disclaimers in front of the yeah, like uh, they'd rather you lie and say yeah. it was a different company, right? But uh, should I say it then? May All right, here's the deal: give me money. Well, no, I can't do that's extortion. Mm. This is a fine line, <laughs> but uh, I have it. It works in tandem. I bought a Fitbit. Um, why am I advertising them? But whatever. That's that's a colloquial term. Uh, this thing tracks my steps. It tracks my gyrations when I, when I yell at you. Not you, but, you know, people. <laughs> <laughs> I never yell at you. I don't. I, I don't. scream. <laughs> I, I verbally When I demand. <laughs> when I demand things. Uh, when, I, when I ask for help in the bathroom, <laughs> it tracks it. Uh, it You know, and, and I log into my phone when I'm drinking a whole bottle of water. And I, I, now I'm drinking water because it's like, I never thought I would be... That kind of person who like, because people are like, oh, get the Fitbit. It's like a game. Uh, I don't know. It's more just keeping track. Mm. I'm not motivated by this stu stupid fucking. Thing. It's make it's giving me rashes. Yeah. Look at this. It's it's ruining my life, Lucy. <laughs> this thing but, is supposed to help me, and it's giving me rashes. I got. Well, is it a rash or is it just tight? I, I don't. What do you mean tight? Like tight on your wrist. It might be tight. It's, it's loose enough now, and it's still, I still get these rashes on my wrist. <laughs> Sometimes, if it's too tight, it, leave, it leaves a little wrist mark. No, I think it's just this leather band they give you, this rubber band. Mm. I'm getting a new band. I'm Look, I don't need your help. I mean, Fitbit wants to send me new bands. Great. Well, you may have sensitive skin, which is why I recently tried introducing you to fancy creams. I've put cream on before. But I in, I'm introducing you to fancy creams. I know what a cream is. Yeah, you know, give me some fancy cream. Put, where is it? I rubbed fancy Japanese cream on your on your cheeks. You did. You rubbed some kind of lotion, some kind of cooling aloe lotion. <laughs> they really don't want us advertising. No, their we're, we're going to do that as a as a form of <laughs> terrorism. <laughs> Corporate terrorists. <laughs> they have like Selena Gomez as oh, do they? You know, brand ambassador. Oh, no. Oh, what's, what's the name? Tell me. What's Gomez. What's the name? Of the, what's the name? I put nothing on but Daja. <laughs> no, nothing goes on this face except Daja cream. <laughs> that is so not what I said. <laughs> 
What did you say? You have to whistle louder. I had headphones on. What is it? I'm hearing the same thing. Do it really? Yes. I wear nothing on my skin, on my back, where the pimples are, but Don John cream. <laughs> That's it. You got it. it Don, Don John. John. Is it Don John? <laughs> what is it? It Tatcha. Don, you didn't say a T. I said t- Whatever. I put Tatcha all over my, my <laughs> sores, all over those things on my leg where they go to the hospital. Yeah. And uh, I, 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 it's amazing. Yeah. So, you know, I'm getting, in, I'm getting myself um, all sorts of, in, of, of different, you know, whatever. I'm not doing keto at the moment. I'm doing an egg sandwich thing. Yes, you got a... An egg sandwich maker. Some people might call it an impulse buy. I saw it on Amazon Fresh while I was buying salad. <laughs> uh, I had to get more salad equipment. I need, you know, greens and I need cucumbers. And uh, I saw an egg sandwich maker. I said, you know, this seems like... This is this is, this is it. This, I just realized. I've been saying for months. I'm just realizing now. Uh, oh, fuck. They got me. The whole information. Like, I'm always like, oh, they steal this information from us. And what do they do? What are they going to target that? They showed me that. <laughs> they, I just, oh, my God. I'm. They knew how badly. Let's throw. No, we can't throw it out. What's her. Mm, I'm, I'm kind of pissed. You're pissed that you got got? I, I never get got. But now I'm realizing they're showing me. The, 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 every time I buy an eggplant, they're getting me. You're the one who introduced me to the concept. You're the one who made me fully appreciate the how truly effective uh, grand advertising strategies are. You were like, you're like, you know, then wires like they've been they've been hugely effective as a source of propaganda for decades. Yeah, but that's but, like, hey, but you don't think you can that's get that's like, hey, drink, I'm a pepper, you're a pepper, hey, and like you just like it. But the idea that they would show me something that I would want to buy and I ended up liking very much, and I, I'm glad I bought it, mm. infuriates me. <laughs> you, I, don't, <laughs> you don't like the idea that you're being targeted advertised to. Well, I talk a lot of shit is the problem. I talk a lot of shit about who cares if they steal my stuff. What are they going to do? Sell me dick cream? Right. Which I could maybe use. Dick cream? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Different creams. What, are you getting all this, Google? Yeah. Why, <laughs> why don't you sell me some fucking sausage doesn't go bad in two days? I buy a whole box of fucking weeks worth of sausage, and if I don't cook it in two days, I'm fucked. But no, no, no. Yay. We, have, we, we target. That's what I want. Sell me sausage <laughs> that isn't going to spoil in a day. Uh-oh. Function is not Okay. I thought I stopped recording. <laughs> the egg sandwich maker is very good, though. No, it's great. It's great. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Thanks Daddy. Daddy. Thanks, Daddy Jeff. Daddy Jeff Bezos. Why don't you put it right? Why don't you put it deeper, Daddy Jeff Bezos? <laughs> Does Daddy Jeff Bezos want a foot rub? I, I do like the egg sandwich maker. I'm just kind of annoyed. Yeah. I'm, I'm just a simp like everyone else. Well, think about it this way. I mean, the egg sandwich baker, it makes sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches that are very similar to what you might get uh, from, like, Mickey D's from McDonald's. What? <laughs> what? Excuse me? From where? You never call it Mickey D's? From where? Mickey I I, I didn't hear that. What was that? <laughs> I, I used a nickname. You're trying to do a transition. <laughs> what? And you fucking said, you're trying to be all nonchalant, and you said, Mickey D's. <laughs> you've never you've never called it that? First of all, no. <laughs> no. I've heard it in commercials. Mickey D's. In, like, the early 90s, when, like, Macaulay Culkin and Michael Jordan were, like, stuck in a, you know, a studio together with, like, literally a milkshake <laughs> that's made out of literally Elmer's glue. And, like, fries that are, like, propped up with, like, toothpicks. <laughs> and they're there for six hours because Macaulay Culkin's probably in a heroin, you know, relapse. <laughs> and I think they might have said Mickey D's in that, com- you know, come in Mickey D's. And the only person who ever sat her say that out loud in real life was you. 
Hey, hey guys, you want to go to Mickey D's and then maybe uh, we can talk into a microphone uh, in my lapel pocket, you know, like. You it's, know a what? it's a narc. It's a narc thing is my point. You know what's crazy is I Mickey <laughs> D's. That's what's crazy. I do think. Because because it's so difficult to because I've been I've been trying to work up to getting a, a transition so casual yeah. that you can't take issue with it. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, and but I'm so conscious of the fact that you're waiting for me to do that. But we look. That, we, that, the, the, that, you need that, to understand that, that, that your like, ears are hypersensitive to it. Like a, like a you bass. need to understand where the show is coming from here. The show before you became the co-host and producer. Yeah, you're the co-host. Mm-hmm. But you also you know do a producerial role. Uh, whatever. Sure. But you're the co-host. Yeah. You're doing you're doing stuff. Yeah. You're you're you're, you're integral to the operation. But before you were around, I well, this has been discussed ad nauseum. You know, I would be talking about, uh, you know, Deion Sanders, the football guy, the football man, uh, whatever, and then end up, you know, talking about uh, the Waco, you know, standoff. Sure. Uh, the Branch Davidian cult. And then, like, you know, how do we get, you know, like, I just need someone to keep me from just going off the rails. We, we don't need, this is not... Like jock radio. <laughs> I know it's not. I know really? it's I know we, it's not. But here's the thing. In my quest to find a casual transition. Doesn't need to be casual. Because but in my but I, I'd like to be able to do it just once. But here's what it just happened, right? Yeah. Is I knew <laughs> it occurred to me that if I said McDonald's, you would instantly bring the hammer down on my transition. Why? <laughs> but but so my brain's way of getting around that. Why would I bring the hammer down on the transition? Because we were talking about before, you, you make it seem <laughs> because like because you always do. But I, but I, but but here's the really crazy part: is that I think in my head in that moment, I was like, I can't just say McDonald's. So, what's a more casual way of saying McDonald's, Mickey? D- if you if you were in the, if you play if you had the Caprio's role in The Departed, like as soon as like as soon as he brings the hand out of the bag, you're like, I'm a rat. Oh! I'm a cop. <laughs> you just can't handle it. <laughs> I'd come into the bar and I'd be like, so what kind of shenanigans are we getting up to today? Huh? Hey, uh, what, what do you got planned today? Because my sergeant's really busting my balls to get some information. <laughs> fuck! fuck! I can't believe I blow it. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Lucy departed. <laughs> uh, You're a double kid, ain't you? <laughs> uh... Okay, so what were we talking about? I don't know. You want to keep talking about Daddy Bezos? I don't. Yeah. I, no. <laughs> what? Is that where we came from? I uh, Was there something about McDonald's that came up that was, that was supposed to be transitioned into? We were talking about something they did. Well, I was going to say, you know, it's like it, it makes pretty good McDonald's y egg sandwiches. Okay. Right? No, it does. Yeah. Yeah. They were just spongy eggs. So we could stop, uh, maybe ser- we could stop serving those corporate overlords for our breakfast sandwiches, but yes, uh, and su- right. and submit to Daddy Bezos instead. Right. I think what you wanted to do was get into this idea of, all right, in the larger picture, the minimum wage, uh, which uh, being raised to fifteen dollars an hour, right? Yeah. Did not pass in the the Senate was trying to do a reconciliation, which I guess is like fake budget shit, but like the Republicans do it to like drill in Alaska, so who gives a fuck? And I get it, and sure. But like then the parliamentarian of the Senate, who's just like the narc of the Senate, the rule guy, the guy going, well, technically, technically we can't, technically we could invade Iraq, but we couldn't do this. That's his job. His job is to say, well, you can invade, um, who else do we invade? Grenada? Panama, we're, we're the big ones. <laughs> Afghanistan, right? There's uh, Vietnam. Vietnam. Those are all fine. I'm surprised you thought of Grenada, Grenada before Vietnam. Seems hack. But, um, but yeah. So they did. But he decided we can't do it. Uh, and a lot of people are upset, right? Yes. Not great. And uh, I don't know. How, what do you think about it? Do you think people should get money for working? Because I don't. 
<laughs> I think... Uh, I think all labor should be volunteer-based. I think sausage egg McMuffins are so goddamn good. Even though I can make them at home now, I still don't... Like, there's such a good recipe that, like, why should the guy who makes it get anything? I don't think people should be paid to work at McDonald's, but I also think McDonald's should be a public utility. Interesting. Maybe you make that trade. Okay, so how does that work? So uh, I just get free McMuffins? Yeah, everyone is entitled to unlimited McMuffins. Who's going to make them? Volunteers. I'm not even going to say the implication. Conscripted volunteers. I'm not even going <laughs> to stop. Stop right now. Do you realize the system you're describing? <laughs> it's been illegal for a while. Uh, I'm not even going to hop. It's a hot topic to say. You know. <laughs> what? <laughs> People working and not getting paid. That's true. Uh, I mean, I just, I had a slight of it a probably would have worked. But you want to conscript them? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So no, of course. I mean, I, I don't understand uh, because this country is fundamentally not sound. We're not. We just don't do anything. We don't do. We don't pay. Look, like I'm not some crazy. Like I would give everyone every entitlement. I mean, like maybe we should do something about social security, right? Maybe we should, but we just won't do anything ever, ever. Like, we won't do anything unless it involves... This is my thing. You're not going to really solve anything on the left, and here's why. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm, I'm not happy about it. And and the, and the answer isn't, like, because there's a really a problem. It's not fault of the left, per se. There's a lot of things that are the fault of the left, or the leftists, right? Like, tactically, in my opinion. But this fundamental truth... Is that like, because there's no, you need, because the military industrial complex is done by sociopathic monsters to, to gain tremendous wealth and conquer the world. But like, no one's going to become a sociopathic monster to give you health care. No one's going to become a, no one's going to become a dictator to give you a free egg sandwich. It just doesn't make sense. And that's the only way anything works in America. That's why we're moving to Australia eventually. Mm. I don't know when. I don't know if we'll be allowed to. But that, you know, that it, it's a dream of mine to drink Foster's straight from the water fountain um, <laughs> and, and, to, and just fucking live in the sun. The rivers a, flow with Foster's with there. Foster's lager. Or even, even the ale is nice. Um, I, I don't know. I think I need to get a boomerang. Anything. Point is... Uh, you have to be a monster, right? Mm. Well, yeah, uh, sure. I mean, why do you think that's do you think that's particularly true about the United States, or do you think it's true is it because there are other countries that have done policies like this? It's United States. It's we're just bad, us. We're a bad yeah. country. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I yeah. don't know why. I don't know. I didn't start it. I didn't start this country. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just telling you. It's like, oh, well, you spend less money on, 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 on tanks and predator drones. Yeah, because someone's making money. Sure. That's, like, no one's like, we're not having some kind of like debate, some grand debate about like, you know, where people like Sof, you know, Sophocles and fucking Cato are like, you know, having like eating olives and grapes and, and, and shitting all over themselves and discussing the ins and outs of whether or not to drone strike a... You know, a, 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 a wedding in the in the in the Pashtun Valley mm. is that that's a place right? They landed that one. They landed that reference. I'm not sure, but I, I. let's assume you did. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Pashtun Valley. I don't know wherever Masood was from. Um, he was he was one of the guys in Afghanistan. Anyway, what's my point? Where are we on? <laughs> you were wondering if I. Uh, so the fifteen dollar minimum wage. I would like it. I, yeah. I don't know why. Even now, I mean, even with all that said, you'd think we could do it. You'd think like, yeah, it's been a while since we gave you know minimum wage a raise. It's kind of you know the pandemic. I mean, we got you know these Democrats got the Congress and the Senate and the House and the President, and it's like we can just raise. It. Why do they even listen to the parliamentarian? Just throw that guy. Why don't they just pretend the guy got like kidnapped during the Capitol riot? Right. She's sure. like, ah, oh, we haven't seen him since January. Shut <laughs> up. They had to have him in the basement of the McDonald's, just force feeding them hamburger socks. <laughs> <laughs> Burglar socks? Socks at the hamburger war. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm just saying, put them some, put them in the bottom of comet pizza. Get them out of here. How often do you think a live action actor dresses up as the hamburger? I mean, I'm, honestly, if I'm and, being honest, I was thinking like as if he was a real guy. I was kind of like, <laughs> which I know isn't true, but I, in, in my in that moment, I was thinking, you know, the real hamburger, which is. Yeah, um, yeah, he's real. Yeah. All right. No, I think he is. And where's he work? Mickey D's? <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> he works at Burger King. <sighs> better than that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's my political hot take of the year. I don't do a lot of political hot takes, but uh, we're living in a despotic Yeah, system. well, I mean, with McDonald's, it's also, it's not just that they're underpaying people it's also like they're they have like corporate spies how so who are like infiltrating like, like spy on burger king and trying Wendy's? To union bust trying to trying to like find, find out what's in a frosty <laughs> trying to steal the frosty from wendy's they're probably Why trying to... you <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> i every goddamn week i tell you get me a frosty with fries in it so i can figure out how to make it now you can't you son of a bitch my wife's leaving me <laughs> They're probably trying to actively unionize Wendy's. That'll be good for them. Oh, you, what, where did unions come into this? I thought, they were just, I thought they were stealing from Wendy's. No, McDonald's has corporate, like, they have, they make these, like, uh, sock puppet social media accounts that they use to, like, union bust and stuff. Well, sock, like, puppets? I think that's what you call them, sock puppet accounts. Oh, not like actual, <laughs> I think about, like, like anti union sock puppet shows, <laughs> like Syphil and Ollie. Hey, kids, remember what Mark said? Be a good worker. <laughs> the hamburger sucks. Collective, collective bargaining makes me sad. <laughs> so, they're, they're, so what? They're, they're going online. McDonald's. McDonald's is paying goons to go online and harass union people. Yeah, that appears to be the case. Where they'll, they'll go online. That's really and, smart. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't we think of that? I don't know. Are they hiring? The thing is. <laughs> I think I'd be a good goon. <laughs> I think you'd be a good goon too. The thing is, I don't know if they're they're if they're pretending, if they're just like threatening people and harassing people, yeah. or if they're actually pretending to be other McDonald's employees, like I, or just like random, yeah. So like, if I could, so it, all right, so it's, it's one of these two scenarios. Either it's uh, you get a message. Look at your messages. Not really, just like in your phone. Yeah, you're, you're imaginary phone. Imagine you have a that. phone. Imagine you have a phone. Hey, whore, don't unionize. Hello? Who is this? <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm a goon. <laughs> uh, it's just one scenario. <laughs> but uh, we're just, we're, we're inv- I think we're both envisioning a thing where I'm, you know, I'd have to go undercover. Yes. Okay. So I think that's more likely. All right. Hey, you're uh, you're that chick who's in the unions, right? Um, yeah. Would you like some information about joining the union? You know what Trotsky said about McDonald's, didn't don't you? Did Trotsky say something about McDonald's? He says, "Don't fucking, don't fucking unionize. Or I'll fucking <laughs> feed you, feed you the pigs." Weird. Feed that... you the pigs, whore. <laughs> Lol. Weird. <laughs> that doesn't sound like something Trotsky would say. He was really, you know, he, he was pretty brilliant. Stop fucking around. <laughs> We're trying to make money here. Who is this? The hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> hamburger, bitch. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he fired the first day. I mean, I don't know if he does. But honestly, that'd be more effective, I feel like. I feel like when people, this generation is very savvy about when a cop is pretending to be a student kind of thing. To explain, <laughs> like the whole, like the whole, <laughs> me- the, <laughs> the meme of like uh, undercover cops, like that Steve Buscemi in like Dirty Rock when he was like, pretending oh to be a kid. yeah, hello fellow kids. I don't know if it's a common reference to make well, the way I said it, but whatever. Um, yeah, but it'd be like you know like, like when corporate plants. But if I just come in like a goon, see the old unions worked. Here's why unions worked, and here's how they were combated effectively. Uh, unions worked with physical violence. Right. I mean, when there was, like, the other, uh, the other stuff was all ebbs and flows of supply and demand of labor, in my opinion. And, and, or, look, you built a strong union, don't get me wrong, 
part of that was the mafia, a big part of it. And early days, whatever, like the, the predecessors of the mafia, either way, physical violence was happening. People were fighting each other, whether it's Harlan County with the coal uh, or it's fucking, I mean, yeah, they protested too. I'm not saying everyone, everything's Braveheart, but, uh, but also like, you know, Carnegie and, and Bill Frick, Bill Frick is having, you know, Carnegie's off in Paris or wherever, just, you know, having a, a vacation or maybe he's in Ireland, Scotland, where he's from, probably Scotland yeah. or Ireland. <laughs> Maybe in Paris. Who knows? Having point, crazy adventures somewhere is, in Europe. Yes. Point. <laughs> fucking the queen. Point is Frick, his, his right-hand guy. Who has, there's a Frick Museum in New York City. But this guy, they're starting to organize. The union, and he's like, I'm going to shoot you all. And he starts shooting. He brought Pinkertons in. Mm. Starts shooting them. Yeah. So the point is unions and management both need goons. And, that's, and goons are the only thing people acknowledge. Like, you know, oh, hey, you guys, you know, it, it might not be a good idea for us to join the union because we actually want to get our hours cut. Get out of here, cop. Right. But yeah. it's like, hope your kids don't die. <laughs> <laughs> That's a goon. <laughs> you know? Um, did we do this last week or was it, was it at least on the uh, Patreon? I the, forget. The, I don't think we... No, not this, but just the idea of threatening... No, it was as part of the. Oh <laughs> right, yeah, we did do that. It's common motifs. Everything in the show is either me having a gun or me threatening kids. Or yeah. <laughs> I've never heard a child in my life. <laughs> it's so much like, worse when you when you announce it. Well, like it uh, has to be said. It should, it should be a nice thing to hear. <laughs> that should comfort people. <laughs> I don't know why it's not a soothing sound to hear me say I've never heard a child. <laughs> Would you be better? Would you feel better if I said the opposite? <laughs> Bizarre. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So let's do another one. Sure. Okay. Uh, hey, you're that union girl. Huh? Yeah. Would. Uh, what do you think uh, was going to happen to your job when uh, if you were paralyzed? If I was paralyzed. Paralyzed by a union goon. <laughs> Why would a union goon paralyze me? Because you're talking a lot of shit. Do you mean an anti-union goon? Yeah. Because. <laughs> yep. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh. Well, that would be very scary. Yeah, but yeah, be careful. <laughs> All right. All right, see you later. Uh, you know, you don't want to be subtle is the point. Yeah, that's true. Uh. Let's try one more. Fuck Stalin. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck communism, stupid. That you're texting all of this? Yeah. Communism sucks. Um, I'm not a big fan of Stalin either, LOL. Yeah, well, you're, union, you're into that shit, so I mean, uh, who can tell the difference? Like, who can tell the difference if I'm shooting a deer or shooting you? <laughs> union goon signing off. Do you mean an anti-union goon? Fuck, yes. (laughs) Thanks for correcting me. (laughs) 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 Can I pitch myself as like, I'm Ray Kump, the union goon. (laughs) (laughs) It'll be kind of thing where I'll just become, because no one else uses those terms. So it'll be kind of like like infamous in, in the other, like those words that like mean... The opposite of what people understand to me nowadays, it'll be one of those. Sure. A union goon just be a guy who goes, it was a goon after, I go after go- unions. I'm a union goon in the sense that I'm a goon who goes after unions. <laughs> if you, Let's say that you were actually a union goon in the sense that you were a goon working on behalf of the unions. Who would you goon against? Like, would you, would you, would it be middle man? Oh, or yeah. yeah or, or, well, McDonald's or, or usual? Because McDonald's, I mean, Sopranos satire, so satirized this perfectly in an episode uh, with, like, it was supposed to be, like, Starbucks or whatever, and they tried to shake him down. And he's like, I can't give you the money. And it was like, you know, well, the, you know, uh, if you don't give me the money, I'll fucking squash your head, whatever it is. I mean, the lines are better. I, I'm not David Chase. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I was like, well, you can do that, but, like, I, they count the thing. It was, they bring another guy in. And, like, and they're just kind of like, oh, it's over. <laughs> and so the point is, uh, but I would find a way. I would go to, I would go to, um, who's, who, wh- what family owns McDonald's? 
family does own McDonald's. It's not a family. I was, I mean, I was an idiotic question. I didn't expect you. I thought you were telling me it was an idiotic question. <laughs> what, what family does own McDonald's? As if every corporation is owned by a family? <laughs> the Croc, uh, it's the Roy Kroc family. Yeah. Well, who does? Wait, no. no, it's a corporation owned by like shareholders. Well, oh, sure. Roy Kroc or But the you guy. have like the Waltons who are so, you know, they're well, they, the but they, Well, they're, I don't know if they're a publicly traded company, but they own a little stock. Okay. If, well, I, well, I'm not sure of the corporate structure or whatever the fuck. Uh, if the public, but the point is, yeah, 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 yeah. You can have a system if you keep all the stock, but when you sell the stock, point is, I don't know what the point is. Who am I shaking down? Roy Kroc, he's dead. Uh, I'm just calling LeBron James. He's a McDonald's rep. Oh. I mean, so he's, he's, they sponsor him. Like, hey, LeBron. Uh, yo, it's Ray Kump, the union goon. Oh, hello. What's up? <laughs> uh, Not much. Love that, love that ball handling you were doing the other day. Like, uh, can't miss, can't miss basketball. Oh, thanks, thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, look, I gotta get at your, your bosses at McDonald's because uh, I got, I got, you know, threaten them with a gun. Um, well, look, uh, I did a couple of advertisements for McDonald's. Yes, they're your bosses. Uh, so, yeah, you know who they are. Yeah, but I don't necessarily have this kind of access to them. You just tell me who they are. I'll just go, sh- you know, wave a gun in their face. Okay, then it's uh, it's Mr. Oh, he's going he's gonna to flip? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but what does he care? That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, he I'm got, not getting in the middle of this. He got the money. Yeah, he loves, his, he loves his wine. I tried to send him a wine princess bitch t-shirt, but he didn't respond to me. Mm. Um, <laughs> he's a big wine guy. He loves to sit around his barber shop on his TV show. Drinking wine with his NBA rivals, just <laughs> chatting it up. Remember that time I did that block? Yeah. <laughs> That's not an impression of LeBron. That's just, you know, what I imagine <laughs> basketball feels like. I do. Look, I know th- uh, some people who, it, I enjoy wine myself. Give me headaches. You know, LeBron no, it's James. Nice. It tastes nice. I, I, lo- I love the idea of the wine princess bed shirt. Thank you. I should get you one. LeBron James, who, uh, you know, is a... I don't want to get fit him. Enjoys all sorts of fancy wines, I'm sure. He might not necessarily want a killer wine bottle. He's the best basketball player chest. in the world. What are you talking <laughs> about? Why wouldn't he? He can wear anything. He can wear a fucking tutu and still look fucking hard. <laughs> just look at just a tutu and a hard cock, and you'd just be like, this is, this is the man. <laughs> look at this fucking hard cock tutu wearer. Playing basketball. But I think that reveals something about his personality. He could or wear mine. any crazy thing <laughs> he wanted, and yet he chooses not to. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think my shirt's on the level of a, you know, a naked with a tutu, but, you know. Uh, where are we? McDonald's? How do I get to McDonald's? Do I, I just, do I just go into a shop and just start? Is it like fucking just, I, I start uh, breaking? They, they always have those sheds. I used to work. I used to work at McDonald's. <laughs> they have sheds where they keep the stuff. The, the, the Halloween toys. Not the Halloween toys. <laughs> this is a, so your solution, your strategy for union gooning, is going to be to break into McDonald's and steal the Halloween toys. Uh, the Happy Meal toys. <laughs> Happy Meal toys. <laughs> I just, just, where are your Halloween toys? <laughs> What, like what? I got I pull a gun out. I'm like, give me this fucking Halloween toys, and like no one knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking. It's just bullshit. What is it like? Sabrina the Teenage Witch toys now? Who knows? <laughs> what even the kids watch now? The kids just watch fucking, you know, like Peppa Pig. Chinese. Oh, okay, I thought they were watching video it's feeds of it's Uyghur it's Muslims being re, re, you know reconditioned or whatever they call it <laughs> in China. That's what the last Peppa Pig episode was about. <laughs> there, huh? Don't you want to fit in? <laughs> um, um, but I, I would think that you'd have to... Uh, see, this is how I would handle it. Yeah. Sort of like a, the way like a, a hitman in an action movie handles something. You go and you start with the lower level people. And you get them and <laughs> you, put a, you put a knife to their neck or whatever. Or you put a gun to their head, and you're like, and you're like, who's who do you answer to? And then they probably answer to some other middle management schmuck. And you, but then you find them, and you go, who do you work for? And you keep on going up the That's, ladder. No, you don't know because I, I, 
look, also, I worked separately as an event photographer for a while. <laughs> and I used to, you know, for a few years in a row, photograph their, uh, I don't know what you call it. There's, like, there's like businesses that own fr- franchises at McDonald's. And it was, like, a franchise at McDonald's. They own, like, 15 of them. Mm. And it was, like, their holiday party of the, the managers. And these people don't know who, who they don't know their own bosses. People are shot. They don't have anyone who supervises. I'm them? sure they technically. I'm saying these people. You're not going to get anywhere putting a knife. These people put a knife. To these people's neck. They'll lean in. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> um, you know. I mean, it's, I, I I wish you the best. They, they they like they like dancing once a year to like you know milkshake in the yard or whatever that song is. Mm. And it's like you know just acne and just smell like fries. Mm. And then, like, they're, but they're, they're the ones who are like who are selected to be like in charge, right? They're like they're like the elites. But like, cause plenty of people, like I knew pe- people, like a lot of successful people work at McDonald's, um, and like pass through McDonald's. But they they're not really set up, and it's not like another place where like certain companies like it's great and you can you can do great, right? But like they're not set up to like train you and like give you a great, great career, right? Right. They're not one of those companies. So the people, they, they snare to be their store managers, to goon out on everyone else. I'm not, I, I know they're not in a great position either. I'm just saying it's that they, they know how to turn people against each other is my point. <laughs> and so you're not going to get anywhere trying to just, like, you, start, you shove a knife and there's just, there's no way knives at necks in there. You need to, <laughs> what you need to do, um, I had it before. I lost it. Um, we're talking about McDonald's, right? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Union goon. I just want to be a goon. <laughs> um, no, there was something. Just for anyone who offers. Yeah. What were the topics? I, I, I was link. I had in my head, I had a genius transition in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I was going like, to like seamlessly move into it. Let me, let me say something to the mic while I fucking talk. Um, well... <laughs> Both of us are just cut. We just talk to the mic. Have a tendency to just fall flat on our faces. Yo, Lady Gaga's uh, dogs are stolen. I was gonna. I was gonna transition to that. Actually, we didn't. I did. Why? Did, why did you insist on looking? I wanted to see what it was. Oh, okay. Fair uh, enough. I, I had something else. It wasn't that. Oh, okay. Got this it. Is, this is this is not the best episode we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there are good parts. No, it's great. And then there are not so good parts. <laughs> It's look, it's chaotic and it's fun. <laughs> We're all having a lot of fun. I don't understand. All right, so tell me, tell me what happened, with Lady Gaga. Um, Lady Gaga. Oh, crash from this goddamn band. <laughs> this is destroying my life. Go ahead. I think it's just an. Imp- I don't think it's a rash. I think it's an impression. It's like, like stress pimples. Oh, that's no good. This is. It's called a Fitbit, not like you know, put pimples on your wrist, bit. <laughs> what am I doing here? It's get, just a, it's just uh, it's just a grease strap. I'm trying to get healthy. It just traps in all the grease and oils on your in your skin and I'm trying to drink water. Makes a ring of pimples. <laughs> I'm hydrating. Nothing. I've been lied to. Yeah. I was doing fine before. I was on my way to dying. <laughs> so what happened with Gaga? Uh so Lady Gaga's uh two dogs were stolen. Yes. And during French bulldogs, I believe. French bulldogs, yeah, and during the theft, the uh, there was three of them. Oh, there's three. One ran away. Oh, during the theft, the arm, the arm theft. <laughs> Such a bizarre <laughs> dynamic I set up. Tell me about this, but I already know. Obviously, not only do I, know, I know, but I don't even like. I, I I don't even like play with the facade that you're informing <laughs> me. <laughs> I am the worst, the worst slash most ingenious broadcaster. This side of uh, Larry Flint. There's no, there's no even slight contrivance of <laughs> doing a show, however convenient, however smooth, however much it smooths out the process that you will not reject <laughs> viciously. Because I'm authentic, right? That's why people <laughs> like me. I'm a real man. I'm a real dude. No, I can't say real dude. I'm not real. I mean, that's just not my thing. I'm not. Yeah. The, that's someone else's thing. Uh, I'm a real guy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to step on toes here, you know. I'm not, I'm not afraid to. I'm just saying whatever. It's like I'm a, It wasn't the point. It wasn't the point to aggress on other podcasts. I'm not a real dude. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a real boy. <laughs> whatever it is, real I got my, boy. my own gimmick. I'm a real goon. Real. Yeah. I'm a real goon. <laughs> Let's close. 
goons. The goons podcast. <laughs> the goons. Anyway, so Gaga had. So uh, this guy. So another important thing about the story is that as the guy was stealing the dogs, he shot the dog. The dog walker four times. Four times. He shot him four times. Why are we laughing? Holy no, shit. No, he shot him four times. No, How is well, this guy alive? Is he alive? He's expected to recover fully. Oh. Um, here, here's the thing. Here's why. Because I'm la- we're laughing because of the next part. Yeah. So Lady Gaga posts, I guess on Twitter, wherever, I forget, a half a million dollar reward uh, for the recovery of her two French bulldogs. No questions asked. Her words. No questions asked. Her words. Which normally means like, hey, I know whoever's going to come to me with the bulldogs is the person who stole them. I'm going to give you half a mil. We're going to call it a day. Right. Which is her prerogative. Unless, (laughs) in the process of stealing these dogs, her dog walker was shot four times. Had a violent felony committed against him. (laughs) I mean, shot four times. No questions asked. The dog walker getting shot. These people are monsters. The plebe you shot, that's a mulligan. Yeah. <laughs> Look, uh, you didn't kill him, so it's like, you know, thanks. Wouldn't matter. I mean, <laughs> no harm, no foul. Here's the thing. I mean, I can file ins- I can file a false insurance claim if you killed him, but now I'm just out of dog walker. I'm in Italy or wherever the fuck doing a movie, which she is. She's somewhere doing a movie. Because that's the other thing is that she's, like, a, mon- she's a sociopath. The, the other thing is that like it's like okay, all right. So the guy survived. Yeah. This is a thing. A lot of that because like a, this is a country that's just kind of littered with gun violence and sure. all sorts of. Uh, gross stuff it's like it, there's a tendency on the part of the american public even to just be like was it, oh well oh the, well you know there were there were two fatalities and like 10 injuries it's like oh, okay well it could have been worse it's like you know or, or no fatalities but 20 injuries it's like it's it could have been worse people people who survive from you know gun injuries paralyzed. and stuff can be they can be paralyzed <laughs> i mean be, this article like, said full recovery i think <laughs> You could still have issues with your kidneys or something. Like, Look, I don't care if it if it if they give me a metal dick that lets me fuck for a year. <laughs> I don't want the guy who shot me four times to just you know get a, get a half a mil and go on his way. Right. I don't. I mean, crazy here. Right. I don't want my boss to fucking give half a. What, what high society is ten thousand, right? What what what, what, do they, what do you even call a million? It's too much to even have a little cute colloquial, you know, Ocean's Thirteen name. It's right. a million fucking dollars, half of that, and it goes to the guy who shot me four times in the dick. Right. From my boss. But I, I mean, how much money is going to that guy? I would assume the the fifteen dollars an hour that it's being paid to walk the dog. <sighs> At, at I mean, I, look, I have no like, I, I have no love for dog walkers typically, yeah, or, or hate. But I mean, I'm not like the advocate of dog walkers. I'm not the advocate of dogs. I like dogs, but like in a proportional sense, don't hurt a dog. I will say that. But also, like, I'm not gonna like you know go invade uh, McDonald's uh, or whatever corporate you know entity mm. to get dogs. That doesn't make any sense. But I'm rolling with it. Right. That state that sentence <laughs> I made. Uh, I'm saying, like, I like dogs, <laughs> but uh, this does that up. This is, this is, she's not a good person. No. Now, you're going to come to me and you go, I'm a little monster. That's what they call themselves, right? The little monsters? <laughs> hey, comp, you fat piece of shit. I'm a little monster, and I got to let you know that fucking we, us little monsters are going to come and we're going to give you little kisses. <laughs> With also like whatever they do, I mean, what they got threaten me, little monsters. You're someone. You're a lady god, god fucking, you know, ar- part of the, her army. I'm like, what are you gonna do? Tweet at me? <laughs> I love Shut how up. in your mind the little monsters are just you, but they like <laughs> they like Lady Gaga. I, I mean, I wish they were me. I'm just saying, like, because <laughs> they like, come at me and go like, oh look, she gave all this money to the guy. It doesn't matter. Questions asked. Look. Best case scenario, and I'll eat my shoe. You must legally ask questions yes. in that situation. I'll eat my shoe, like Werner Herzog. Right. If uh, 
that's a true story. You know? I, I've never heard that story. Errol Morris and him had a bet about something. I forget. And they were, I think I think it was Werner Hertz that ended up eating a shoe. He, ate, he boiled some leather and he ate some of it. Is that where the phrase, I'll eat my shoe, comes from? No. I don't know why I had to tell that story. Oh. <laughs> uh, was this the fucking film nerd, you know, jerk fest podcast? <laughs> hey, you know, by the way, Werner Hertz, I said Werner. Just say Werner. Yeah. Werner <laughs> Hertz, and fucking. But the monsters. Uh, <laughs> this is what water does to me, right? You know, you I drink water. I had it all covered. <laughs> and now I'm just yelling Werner. And yeah, and McDonald's or whatever. What was I talking about? I can't, I cover, I can't cover my wrist. What's this uh, Fitbit? I had it on this wrist, and now it's on this wrist. I can't see. I can't even look at my wrist. It's got so much, you know, redness on it. I'm sorry. Don't. I'm not a victim. <laughs> right? I'm, 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 not, I'm not a victim. Uh, what was I saying? It was. Well, well um, <laughs> <laughs> there is a. Oh, you know, we were talking about Lady Gaga yeah. saying no questions asked. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't, you have to, so what, you, you're going to tell me that she's working with the cops and she's like, you know, right, I'll tell them no questions asked, but the last minute, I'll walk them, I'll have a gun. And like, is Lady Gaga going to get shot trying to make this transaction happen? Right. Like, like, she's like, I'm going to capture this guy. No, I don't think she is. I think she's smarter. She's wearing and more... a wire under her meat dress or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Come show that wearing the meat dress <laughs> so she can hide. Hide like you know weird microphones inside of the, but it's actually Beyond Meat. <laughs> I don't know how that helps, but you know it just is. They hide they hide Beyond Meat microphones. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just I, I look. Are they gonna get me for calling her a bad person? I don't care, but like, how can you not call her a bad person? It's a bad it's person a, thing to do. It's right? a bad person thing to do. Yeah. Which is, it shows a complete lack of respect for human life in general. Yeah, and <laughs> specifically for this person. No questions asked. That she knows. Hey, hey, hey. Please just give me my son's corpse back. No questions asked. <laughs> uh, just take your, yourself out of my son. Yeah. No questions asked. <laughs> Please. Yeah. He's had enough. <laughs> I will. Uh, I've been there. Like, what? What is this? No, hey. Is that, hey, I don't mind uh, that you violated my my son, but can you? Please bring my petunias back. <laughs> is Lady Gaga going like, look, we've all shot a few dog walkers in our day. I ain't going to judge you. <laughs> but can I please have a dog's back? Here's half a mil. <laughs> like, what is this? Um, this is the rich. I don't usually rail against the rich on this podcast, but I mean, we, we, we can't even get, you know, $15 an hour for these people. Give them, look, you don't want to give them 15. Why didn't you give them 11 fucking eight years ago? Like, I'm not, I don't want to, like, you want to give me arguments about, like, oh, well, we can't afford it. I, you got to give them something. And you haven't given them something for years. Grad, why don't we do it the right way ever? <laughs> That's the thing. I feel like this dovetails kind of nicely because the person who's currently lying in the hospital with four gunshot wounds. Right. Who Lady Gaga is uh, going to ask no questions about. Yeah. And apparently the police maybe are on, on board with that. <laughs> is the exact kind of person who people are arguing if he should maybe make $15 an hour. Yeah. <laughs> well, he hey, should. Don't, don't pay that motherfucker more than 11 <laughs> he, gets to pay, he, he gets to play with dogs all day. He's got a nice, <laughs> it's nice gig. Oh, a little poochie. A little poochie. No, 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 shoot me. <laughs> Oh, this is this is cruel. This sounds. Are we just making fun of the guy getting shot? Out? Uh, whatever. Um, point is, we're pointing at the horror. Yeah. Of, uh, we're living in the shadows. This is dystopia. Um, we're laughing into the void. <laughs> we should jump into a void. <laughs> Two monsters. We are. We're little monsters. Uh, I mean, I'm a big monster. You're a little monster. Uh, yeah, so we transition for me. Um, well, I'm not going to try to do that anymore, but <laughs> <laughs> we could talk about there's this gymnastics coach. So what happened? They got a different guy. Does anyone, so what, you know the story here? I don't really. But honestly. basically a gymnastics coach got charged with. Sex crimes. Did he say sex crimes? Yeah. In the article? It, I did see it say that, yeah. Okay, because I just saw like 12 counts of something, a felony, and I just assumed it was sex crimes. Because like, what are they going to do, charge your grand larceny when you're playing with, you know. 
teaching little girls to fucking balance on a beam. Yeah, there's got to be some extra scrutiny that you can put on just gymnastics people. Assume they're pedophiles. I'm sorry. (laughs) I don't think they're all pedophiles. No. Look, uh, here's the deal. Some of them are here's just the more deal. garden variety child abuse. Here is the deal. If you wa- I will assume that every coach of gymnastics is a pedophile as soon as they stop wearing one-piece b- bathing suits to do their sports. Why do they need to do that? It can't be the only thing. Why is they it good? They got a Gabby girl, Gabby Richards or something. Oh. And she's in. Look, I get it. You can't tell me. Make it less sexy. <laughs> Make the children less wear things that would be considered less sexy in, in, on an adult. If an adult wore that, would it be sexy? Pro- oh, yeah. If, look, that's the thing. Here's the question. Gabby Douglas. Gabby Douglas. She is an adult, though. Now she is. Was she an adult when I first saw her wearing this stuff? I'm not saying I was like that. I don't know. She's a kid. But my point is. Oh, well, do you feel something when you see a kid? When I see, if, if, here's my metric. If Scarlett Johansson was wearing that outfit, would it be sexy? Sure. Oh, she's sexy whenever she, no, she's, I mean, she's, she's always an attractive woman, but you never go, look at her in that fucking, you know, cargo shorts that are kind of loose. No, you would never fucking say that. You'll go, look at those fucking loose cargo shorts. Mm. Ooh, daddy. You wouldn't, all right? So, like, I'm just saying, if you stop putting... Gym little girls in the sequenced bathing suits to do sports. Maybe I won't assume you're a pedophile first. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to act. I'm not saying I'm going to show up at your house and say, no questions asked. Please make a sequenced outfit for my kid or whatever. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just saying it was, trying, it was a weird callback. <laughs> I'm just saying, but, like, I'm not, but I'm going to assume for my own just uh, frame of reference for the world. Oh, you're someone who could very well be a pedophile. Just like a priest. Sure, yeah. Is that a priest a pedophile? Maybe, but probably not. And that's my point, is that you can assume, but I'm not going to let my kid near a priest. Are you out of your fucking mind? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but maybe, maybe like Dre, <laughs> you held that facial expression for so long. I was indignant. Uh, <laughs> um, so my point is... I, but, Maybe like during the interview process, you can you can hold up pictures of child stars and say, you know, how what what do you think about this? Are you hard child star? Are you hard? And if they describe them like, if they go like, she's a beautiful young girl in a way that makes you even feel a little bit off, you're like, okay, no. Well, yeah, well, well that's step one. I mean, aren't these pedophiles kind of like savvier than that though? Look, I, I, I might be wrong. Are these you? You really think these guys would get caught by that by that plan? <laughs> I feel this like seems like the wire, but like the first like a couple episodes of the wire when they realize how smart Avon Barksdale's crew is, how sat much more savvy they are than they thought they were, and like they try they try setting in bubbles with the hats. And, <laughs> hey, you're just wearing hats, and like, oh, is this how they solve crimes? This is you can't just ask them. Wait for them to call. Like, oh, she she seems pretty fuckable. They're not gonna just say that. <laughs> Um, but I like the initiative. I thought you were going to say something else. Well, look. I thought you were going to show them something else. I'm sure, there are, I'm sure there are smarter pedophiles out there. But it does seem to be an interesting thing with pedophiles where they seem to, like, not really hide it very well. Like, like Woody Allen is a smart guy, right? Yeah. He's, no, he's a talented he, guy. He's yeah. a smart, perceptive guy. Right. During that whole trial thing... He went into a meeting with a court ordered therapist for five minutes, and the guy came out and said, "Oh yeah, no, he has a totally inappropriate connection to his daughter." Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> so we haven't watched that doc yet. We should watch it. Yeah. We might do. We might do like a fucking watch along on Patreon or something with that. Oh yeah, yeah, that might be good. That seems ghoulish, though. No, it's just a little saying morbid. that we're not going to do that. No, the idea that we would monetize <laughs> a fucking watch along. I was just trying to find ways to. Give exclusive, but no, that's that's the that is. Oh my god, that sounds terrible. It is terrible. Superbook is one thing. Yeah, we're not gonna. We did a great thing with Superbook, the the Christian cartoon. We're not gonna do that with the documentary about the pedophile. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> <laughs> we're watching it as I get that, and my life has been ruined ever since. There's like, so you have a quip about this or go.
and uh. on. <laughs> We're just playing car, like weird sound effects, like like old movie, re- like got, got, got Goodfellas references, like what she's describing, <laughs> sex crimes. <laughs> Turn it over, bring it over. Yeah. Uh, so what, this guy, this guy, oh, he killed himself though. This guy, yeah, yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem to happen as often as you'd think. What? Just killing yourself. After being exposed in this way. The Glee guy did it. The guy who was a bully on Glee. Oh, that's true. He did do it. And he ended up bullying himself. <laughs> that's the great irony of it all. You know, it's like, oh, I'm a big bully who would sing. But at the end of the day, I bullied my neck because <laughs> I looked. I mean, the only way to feel bad about that joke is if he wasn't a pedophile. Yeah. Which I think he was, right? Yeah. It was the kind of thing where someone planted. If you can make it in front of anyone's suicide, it's got to be a pedophile. It's got to be a. They're gonna fucking. They're gonna. Put, they're gonna. They're gonna. Put Imagine a, if you got canceled for that. They're gonna put. They're gonna put me in a waistband <laughs> next to Mr. Potato Head. No more. No oh, more Mr. Potato Head. No more cump. Now it's just Potato Head. It's fine. Is that really true? It's just Mr. It's Apparently just they're gonna call him now? Potato Head. I mean, uh, why? Do you, I mean, look, you want to get weird with it? Let's go. Let's we'll call him. Just call him androgynous potato head or uh, ambiguous potato head or non-neutral potato head. Get w- Say it. Say it to the kids. At least, at least give them what is potato head. We shouldn't be gender. No, fuck it. Call it fucking the patriarchy must pay but head. Call it the fucking, you know, the gender norms are suffocating potato head. Oh. <laughs> Call it, you're a bigot potato head. <laughs> I'm just imagining you in a room with Fisher. What makes that? Fisher Price or whatever? Probably, yeah. <laughs> like, Say it! <laughs> Say it! <laughs> Fucking, fuck you, turf potato head. <laughs> you know, that's really, it's it's particularly crazy because it, you can say what you want. You can make whatever claim you want about representation. I don't think any child sees themselves in Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, but it's a reference to the existence of men. <laughs> I guess that's true. Why should he be a Mr. I, yeah, I don't know. Because that funny mustache was funny. <laughs> I mean, I, it wasn't a bad toy. Mr. Potato Head was kind of funny looking with the eyes. And I like that mustache. And if you want, you could buy Mrs. Potato Head. Why not just release a non... I mean, who gives a shit? But also, I like the mustache. Yeah. All I, can, I, didn't, I didn't care until the moment I realized the mustache was... I mean, it's one of the few memories of my childhood that I liked. <laughs> was eating a cheeseburger at McDonald's, drinking Brita water, and, and putting on a tattoo cream. Tatchwan? <laughs> What's the cream I, I use? Tatcha. Tatcha. Putting on my Tatcha cream while I played with Mr. Potato Head and the mustache. But now I'm gonna, they're going to clip that. They're going to clip me saying Mr. Potato Head. They're going to put me in a gulag. It's fine, I, you know, whatever. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna like lose sleep over it, you know, because you know I'm too busy trying to, you know, give a half a million. You know, I'm trying to become the courier for Lady Gaga and her, uh, and the guy who shot her dog walker. <laughs> I don't want to be the bag man. <laughs> yeah, kind of that. I'm trying to goon, you know, McDonald's, you know, employees. Uh, so I don't have time to, you know, uh, lose sleep over Mr. It's fine, whatever. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a little. I think someone posted uh, something like, oh, meanwhile, at the, at the factory of Mattel, whoever makes this shit, and there's some article, who knows from when, about, you know, chemicals in the workplace. And You're going to get poisoned at work. That's no excuse to be a bigot. Sure. Just, like, that's just reality. Mm. I mean, that's satire. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't. Um, <laughs> where can people find you? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, on Twitter or Instagram at the Steinbag. T H E Steinbag. Um, what kind of stuff do you have there? I'm trying to vamp it to an hour. We have 20 seconds left. Tell me about your Twitter. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's great. It's great. <laughs> it's great. Uh, tell, you me. Can, tell me about what. what? 
Tell them about the Patreon and stuff. You can sign up for the Patreon. You, you follow the link in the in the description, like in the bio. Get an extra episode a week. Uh, it's fantastic. People love it. Uh, people are really getting hooked. We had a great episode on Saturday. Uh, usually, it was a little inverted. I mean, we're, we're probably going to get, I don't know. We might, we might stick with this kind of schedule and do the, the main show during the week, the Patreon on Saturday, at least mm. for now. Uh, you're getting all the content. We're not screwing you out of the content. The days might have gotten flipped. I, I know they tell you in the podcast book, which I didn't read, but apparently it's like, don't fall, mega consistent, fucking do it every time, the same goddamn time. I have more faith in you than the guy who writes a book about podcasts, okay? Sweet. Wait. <laughs> Thank you. Sign up for the Patreon, uh, follow the show. It's all great. Have a great week.